Hey guys, it's Anna and in today's video we're going to be doing a stretch routine with the most effective stretches for getting your needle. Along with this routine, I'm giving you guys a two week challenge which is to follow along to this video daily for the two weeks. And I've also created a playlist with seven of my other stretching routines that can also help you get closer to your needle in case you'd like to add one of those on as well. To share your results with me, use the hashtag Anna McNulty challenge on TikTok or Instagram. But first, let's just go ahead and get started with this routine. We're going to start by alternating from reaching forward and then rolling up to arch back. For this first one, don't worry about reaching all the way to the ground or arching back super far. This is simply just to warm up your back so you can go even deeper into the next stretches. We're going to repeat this motion for one minute. down reaching towards the ground and place your hands together and then try to straighten out your arms to stretch out your shoulders. In order to do a needle you need a lot of shoulder flexibility so this is a great stretch to improve that. Now go into a back bend by either falling into it or pushing up, whichever one you can do. And then in the back bend, we're going to rock back and forth to stretch out your back and your shoulders. You can now stop rocking back and forth and we're going to hold the back bend here for 10 more seconds. In your back bend, try to straighten out your legs as much as you can and push your shoulders backwards. Next go into a downward dog trying to push your shoulders towards the ground. We're going to move on to some leg stretches starting with backwards kicks in your downward dog. Make sure that you're kicking back the leg that you would like to lift up in your needle. Now lift up that same leg as high as you can while arching your back and we're going to hold it there for 20 seconds. Don't feel like you have to lift it as high as I'm demonstrating, just lift it as far as it takes for you to feel the stretch. Now go into a lunge with your elbows on the ground. In this lunge, make sure that the leg in front is the leg that you want to stand on in your needle. Now 
Now lift your elbows off the ground and really try to push your back thigh towards the ground to feel a very deep stretch. Now bend the back leg while straightening out the front one to go into a backwards lunge. To get the best stretch possible from this, make sure that your front foot is flexed and that you're reaching over top of that front leg. Now reach underneath your legs for an even deeper stretch. From here, slide down into a split. You do need to be able to do a front split in order to get your needle, so if you don't have the splits yet, I recommend doing my two week splits challenge first, and I'll leave that video linked down in the description. Now that you're in your split, arch back as far as you can. This one is a very effective stretch when it comes to getting your needle because you're basically in the same position but on the ground. Staying in your split, reach overhead and then try to arch back as far as you can again. For this next stretch, go to a doorway and then go into wall splits against one side of the door. Now walk your hands up the other side of the doorway until you feel a stretch. At first, you probably won't be able to walk your hands up very much, but every time you do this routine, I want you to try to get a little bit higher until you can get all the way up into a full needle position. Once you're as high as you can get for today, we're going to hold it there for 20 seconds. Once you're able to make it all the way up into the needle position on the doorway, close the door and then try to pull up your needle while holding onto the door handle just to help you keep balance. Then once you're comfortable with that, try pulling up your needle without holding onto anything. Finally, after you've got in your needle, if you want to challenge yourself even further, you can try to get your overextended needle. As you probably noticed, we only did these stretches on one side, so to keep both sides even, I highly recommend repeating this stretch routine using your other leg. I hope this two week challenge helps you all get your needle. It's not guaranteed that you're going to get it in only two weeks, but this challenge should definitely help you get closer. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, as well as click on the notification bell so you get notified every time that I upload a new video. Bye!